lovers, haters, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd. It's just about time for an album review. Yeah. Me, 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 Hey, everybody. It's the book's latest album, The Way Out. How you doing, buddy? What's that? Trouble at the barn? Oh. I interviewed your creators on my Tumblr account, and the interview is up there for you to hear up there now. There? It is. Okay. You heard The Way Out. If you've enjoyed The Way Out, or you've enjoyed my review of The Way Out, then you should go to a link down there in the D-Box where you can hear an interview with the books that I conducted yesterday. Good times. This album was submitted by Fuzzy Tongue in the Mod Box, and it made it all the way up to number one, so I should probably talk about it. It's the new Wild Nothing album, Gemini. Wild Nothing is a Virginia band fronted by singer-songwriter Jack Tatum. And, 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 and and Tatum has also worked in two very different bands, some folk pop in the group Jack and the Whale, and also some indie rock that kind of reminds me of Abe Vigoda, or Modest Mouse, in the band Face Paint. But Jack, being the current and trend-aware songwriter that he is, decided to try his hand at the recent string of shoegaze sounds that have been hot to trot on the blogosphere. You know, that sweet C86 sound that's built from walls of guitar effects and keyboards that are more dreamy than they are harsh. Some examples would be The Pains of Being Pure at Heart, A Sunny Day in Glasgow, The Radio Department, and even Girls toyed with the sound a bit on their debut LP. C86 is a genre that originated in the UK and was labeled after a mixtape put out by New Musical Express of the same name. The mix featured loads of artists from indie labels of that time, and many of them shared similar characteristics. For example, jangly guitars and loads of reverb. If you were going to start exploring this type of music, I highly recommend Another Sunny Day's London Weekend, The Pastel Sitting Pretty, or you could just actually look up the physical copy of the C86 mixtape. But back to Wild Nothing. This album is most definitely a modern take on that vintage C86 style, but it's done with a lot of sincerity and attention to the original blueprint, keeping the sounds soft and the structures easygoing, even during the faster tracks. The old school formula is just still intact on this thing. The unapologetically cheesy synthesizers, the jangly guitars, the wild liberal guitar strumming, the lethargic vocals that couldn't even scream for help. It's a very cool, unaffected pop sound. It's impossible to have a heart attack to this record. For me, a major highlight is the very sensual track, Oh Lilac. Another song that kind of stands out, but maybe isn't a favorite of mine, is Board Games. has a really new wave sound with prominent keyboards and drums. And I think my favorite on the entire LP, believe it or not, is Chinatown. And that song has a fantastic oriental melody and a great f groove. But guys, not every part of this record rubbed me the right way. You gotta understand that. Ha! There were some tracks on this album where Jack Tatum would start singing in falsetto vocal territory, and when he would start doing this, the vocals were just missing their melodic mark, and I was just completely distracted by that and unable to enjoy the song. Auto-tune. Plus, some of the vocal mixing bugged me, too. Felt as if maybe some of the vocals were just soaring over the track as opposed to sort of fitting in with the rest of the mix on a couple occasions. And I think my final issue with the LP is that it really doesn't make bold enough of a musical statement to keep me interested. When it comes to shoegaze music, dream pop music, C86, this thing kind of falls into the gray area for me but I'm still going to give it to Wild Nothing and Gemini for flawlessly recreating the cream of 80s indie pop's crop. This most definitely is not a bad place to start if you're curious about this type of sound, but I'm going to stand my ground and say, you know what, I enjoyed the Radio Department's record this year a lot more. I'm giving this record a light 7, maybe a strong 6, but probably a light 7, mostly because a lot of the songs on this thing 
are just solid, just decent songwriting. Yeah, it's not the most original LP, but still, the songwriting, hmm, 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 hmm. But what do you think about this album? Do you love it, do you hate it, and why? Gemini Wild Nothing, Anthony Fantano, The Needle Drop? 